Hi, I'm Rudy, and this clip perfectly sums up my 2020. It's a clip from my first ever surf. I paddle into the wave, I catch it perfectly, I'm riding it, and then bam. 2020, metaphorically, smacks me in the face. But this isn't another video about 2020. This video is about everything that's happened since my 16th birthday. So let's rewind seven years and take it back. So here's me on my 16th birthday. I've just got my first camera. It was a Canon 600D and I was so ready to use it. I started skating a couple years before that and I fell in love with it. So I got this camera to try and capture some of the tricks I could do and film some stuff with my friends along the way. I was totally obsessed with skateboarding. I idolised my favourite professional skateboarders, I learned everything about the industry and I even took my skateboard on a ski trip and did kickflips on the balcony in the snow. And me and my friend decided to start a skateboard company called Push Skateboards and a YouTube channel and uh, we tried to vlog some of the boards at the skate park. And we actually managed to make a 400 quid profit, which was pretty impressive if you ask me. Before long, I'd fallen in with a great group of mates and one of those mates introduced me to the VX1000. Now, the VX1000 is a tape camcorder from the 90s, which we just thought was the sickest thing ever. We got better at skating and filming and we ended up starting a crew called Clip Squad. We actually uploaded videos fairly regularly to YouTube and managed to rack up 50,000 views. But we weren't doing it for the views, we were literally just doing it because it was what we did. We absolutely loved skating and I look back on those times as some of the happiest that I'll ever have. Um, I'm really blessed to have had those times with those guys, they're, they're really special to me. Skating was the perfect escape. Jeez. Wow, okay, if you've made it this far in the video, seriously, congratulations, because I'm currently in the edit and watching that same angle for that long is seriously boring. So thanks for hanging in there. But anyway, yeah, I was saying why I didn't get on with school. It wasn't necessarily because I got bad grades or anything like that. I just, uh, I just didn't really get on with it. I felt like all the time I spent in there was wasted. I was capable, but in a more practical way. And school just doesn't really provide that. If you know, you know you're one of those people. It's so frustrating knowing that you are a capable person, but not being in an environment where 
they're, that is sort of supported and nurtured, I guess. But anyway, enough moaning about the school system. I decided to quit and uh, ended up working full time, which was good and bad. It was great and I had financial independence, but it really sucked because obviously the one thing that I really loved in life, which was skating and filming, pretty much got put on the back burner and it was super hard to find time to hang out with the guys and keep the YouTube channel going and stuff like that. I ended up actually pretty depressed. I wasn't happy, I was just spending my paycheck on getting wasted at the weekend, going out, hitting the town, you know, as all legends do. And I sort of really discovered that skating was my coping mechanism for all the difficult shit in life. Um, and when that was taken away, uh, I didn't really know what to do with myself, to be honest. And I felt trapped because I needed the money that I earned from the job to keep going. But at the same time, something had to change. And I didn't really know how I was going to do that and what that change was. But luckily, I didn't have to wait too long for the change to come to me. I met Rhiannon, the girl of my dreams, and my world was flipped upside down. We quickly became inseparable and started saving up money to travel the world together. We had the best few years of our lives. Made it to Portugal. Whee! We've just arrived in Sri Lanka. We're in India. Basically just smashed Borneo. We made it to France. Welcome to Pembrokeshire. This is how you complete New Zealand. Okay, we're just coming to the waterfall now. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> we felt so comfortable together exploring our incredible planet and continued to fall more in love every step of the way. We were hooked. <laughs> Small bit, it's actually cut really well with this. It's literally like one degree today. If it's bad bowl, it's gonna be mad. Uh, we built our beautiful home on wheels, Roma, road tripping everywhere, and I even got to pop that special question. She said yes! Get in. But that really is a story for another time. Now, all of that brings us back to the elephant in the room. <laughs> that shit was so legit. 2020. Ow. It started out fantastically. We were traveling New Zealand in our sick little red van, Berry, a little Toyota. Obviously just having the best time ever, but then the coronavirus really started to kick in and world travel started collapsing. I remember we were actually on like a three day kayak trip when we made the decision to come home. We were kind of cut off from society because we barely had signal. A bit scared about the coronavirus at the minute. So we're sort of deciding whether we're cutting the trip short and coming home just in case. This country's going into lockdown and stuff. And then we landed the boat back in the little village where we took off from. And it was like, loads of people were saying that all their flights had been canceled and they couldn't get home. And it was basically mayhem. I literally just managed to snag two seats on the last Emirate flight out of there, which I still can't believe to this day. And yeah, we flew straight home. We lost our jobs and couldn't travel, but like I said, everyone's had a bummer, so whatever. The good thing that's come out of this is that it gave me a chance to go through all my old footage and get it all organized, which was pretty much just sitting in a big unorganized heap. I've been meaning to make this video for ages, but the mountain of footage in all sorts of different places was just stressing me out and giving me loads of anxiety, so I never really gave myself the time of day to do it. Sorting all the footage also totally reignited my passion for filmmaking, and I began to realize something. I realised that I just can't keep hanging on, waiting for some magic moment to become a regular uploader again. After spending an entire year in relative boredom, I understand that that magic moment could be every day. Every day could be that magic moment where I start on the path to doing what I actually want to do. Which is make videos. I mean, I've been doing it for so many years now, I just need to do it consistently and hopefully we can grow a channel together. I also thought that maybe some of you out there are waiting for a magic moment and I hate to break it to you, that magic moment might never come. You're gonna have to make that magic moment a reality for yourself, so just don't end up waiting too long because I definitely almost have. So with that said, you can now expect videos on this channel every two weeks for the rest of 2021. I swear down, I'm doing it. And we're kicking it all off with a van conversion series because we completely stripped Roma out as she was leaking and there was mold getting in everywhere. And I think she could have just done with some upgrades. And beyond the van conversion series, 
but you're just gonna have to wait and see. So please like, comment and subscribe, mainly subscribe. To stay up to date with everything that's going on, I'm feeling really good about this year. I'm telling you, it's, it's my year. It's happening, let's go. Big thanks to Gecko Club for letting us use their music. They're literally so sick. And from your boy here at Two That Move, stay groovy. Ciao.